Well, I'm Lewis Cox. Welcome to your Shrewsbury Town 60 second update. I've come back from uh, Greenhouse Meadow today where I was at the pre Berry match conf uh, press conference. Uh, main bit of news coming out of Salop today is, is a quite significant actually. It's regarding this man, AJ Lee Smith, someone we haven't saw for a good while, uh, since November actually, since he played against his former side, Port Vale. He's been missing with knee ligament problem. It's just It's been one of these injuries where it's just kept being put back, put back. Club never really wanted to put a time scale on it. All of a sudden, He's fit and available and could he have picked a much better time to return? He's, he's got back just after the transfer window was shut. Uh, four or five other forwards uh, in contention now brought in in January. So lots of competition for AJ to, to beat out, to get back involved. Of course, he had a bit of a purple patch, didn't he, when Paul, first, Paul Hurst first came in, uh, scored a few goals and, and got sort of his form back, his, his sort of pace and, and movement and, and impressed the boss. And now he's available. So... Good to have him back for the, for the game against Berry. No other injury concerns, which is almost the first time I think said that under Paul Hurst. Quite a rarity that you have no sort of niggles in the squad. So going with the January editions, lots to choose from for the visit of Berry, who of course occupy that final relegation spot. Town two points ahead of them. Massive game could go five points clear of the Shakers with a win. So uh, make sure you follow all my updates on Saturday as we look forward to the big one. Uh, if you haven't already caught today's Shropshire Star, also there's our column, um, our column with columnist Bernie McNally talks all about the window as a whole and just how successful town have been in, in securing their eight signings this month.